Welcome to the Everyday Mom Challenge. Uh-oh, Sam, I'm on this side of it. <laughs> He's waving at you guys. <laughs> um, tonight on our video, I wanted us to talk about changes and a way to celebrate your child when they're going through a change. And one is allowing them to set up their own new room. So this is our video and there's Sam. Say hey, Sam. Hey. Okay. So as you can see, he's decked out with his new camo blanket. Camo. I can't tell, look at the screen. I'm about to run into a rock. Tell him what you guys what you did for the tell the guys what you did for the first time tonight. In my bed. He made his own bed. So yes, he's eight. Some of you may be saying, What? I've always had my child make their bed. Well, when I was a baby, I didn't make my bed, and you had to make it for your night. Right, Mama? Yeah. And so now he has made his own bed for the first time, and he told me how proud he was of making his bed and that he hoped that he did it right. Mm -hmm. So I want to show off his new bed that he made. Look. I can't look. Now, this is his bed. And Boy, this is his sheet <laughs> that Miss Stephanie gave you the chair. So say it's, hey to Miss Stephanie if she's hey, watching. And we thank took you for the chair. We took his extra sheet and we've made him an army truck. Ooh. Because this is actually the sheet that goes on the bed. But uh he yeah. said I can't do that. No, nah, he just likes the blanket, which oh, is God. funny. But um he also fixed By the way, I'm playing Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Because we're studying about what next week. Pirate. Pirates, so we're getting ready for our homeschool pirate adventure. Uh, can I you want to show them? So let's talk about organizing, uh, cause a fun, way. a fun way. That's right. So come on down, Sam. Uh, at our other house, where do toys usually end up? On the floor. Mm hmm In my room. All over the place. Yeah. Stepping over things. Now, this wasn't my idea. This was Sam's idea. Sam came up with a new way to organize his own a fun toys. way. So, show everybody your fun new idea. I put all my army stuff under here. So, let's I show I think you them. can't see it, though, because it's dark. But, I have army stuff on here. This, and if you want to play with toys, you pull them out like this. And you park them, and then you can play with them. And when you're done, you can park them right back where they were. And it's easy. And I have my Legos right here. And I have Star Wars in the back. Can't see them, so that's what this goes to. This mm -hmm. star. Ah, uh, TIE Fighter. It's a Rebel thing. Mm. A bad guy thing. I have to find it. Mm. I can't, I can't, I'm going to find it. So yeah, and you could pull, but not the base, well, not this, because it's too big. You have to lift, how do you get it out? Oh, you can't. We have to lift the bed up. Did you stuff that in there? <laughs> so Look. that's the secret base. <laughs> if you want me to help you get that out, sweetie. No, I, I like to keep stuff in there, like the big things in. Okay. But this is too big too. So, this is just the extra base. If anybody and what you can just something. and you can sit it up like this. Oh, I, anyone? I actually did that, so I didn't step on it because like the big pointy things uh -huh. I had right there, I probably fall off the like get up and I hit that and it probably hurt. I just hurt my hand. I like your secret base. I think it is yeah. awesome. Here's a Star Wars thing. So I think that the best thing to do is if you don't have a bed that can be raised, uh, make it raise up by getting some extension pieces or if you have like cinder a, blocks or even. if you have a big uh, big space out of your room, you don't have nothing over there. You just could put base, something there, something there, base, base, and base. Right now, I'm using Brothers for our family games. Yeah. So, Solomon's bed right now, underneath his bed, I'm putting all of our uh, family games. Yeah. Um, but we also have to figure and out, in like, the move, about homeschool materials because way, kind of like a homeschool material herder, hoarder. And I have, like, the, um, 
put up Nerf guns. So I have like too many, way too many like homeschool things. So right now I've got in his closet, I'm working on this uh, is a Solomon's way side. Keeper. He like has her. an army bag, so his toys go Nerf, inside. Nerf guns, only so Nerf that guns. way, that's just his Nerf gun bag, and he can take that bag outside with him uh, when he goes to play. But right now, I'm using their closet as uh, I don't know if you can see or not. Look, homeschool, and I've got like one of these cabinets. I'm going to start organizing and uh, labeling for the homeschool materials, but um, I got to figure out. Uh, how I'm gonna do all of that yet, but I was just so proud of Sam when he came down and said he had made his bed for the first time. Um, last night was his first night sleeping in his new room, and I was very proud of him. He did a great job. So I think a lot of it was allowing him to help with the move, allowing him to choose things that he wanted. Um, he chose his new bedding set, and also allowing him to help you know, rebuild the bed. He sat right by Eli and, and was screwing the things in. And was hard job. it was a hard job, but you did it. Um, and I just hey, think. I designed my Xbox to be right there. Yep. He asked for his Xbox to be in a certain place until we could get their desk. In front of my bed. No, I want my desk over there with my computer and my Xbox in front of my bed. So it's. I just need a new thing because Eli's in it. So I think a lot about, you know, change. Change can be overwhelming. It can be scary. Or it could be exciting and fun. And it's all how we look at it. So we've had an awesome experience doing our um, little moves here and there, moving things um, in slowly. And um, I think the under-the-bed idea for the toys is brilliant. So, Sam... I want to applaud you for that brilliant idea because it has it's gonna continue to keep us looking clean and neat and tidy and I'm keep on, I'm, I'm real, I'm big. Huh? My pillow's going down when I lean back on my So you need another one? You need yeah. another one? And we need more hangers. <laughs> so we got our list. We got us a list going. But um we still and it's, have more stuff to move. So if we do another video, like part two moving, part two moving in a, one more week, uh, we're going to be back putting our new, like our desk and his desks and stuff. So it's going to look kind of different, uh, but it's, it's the same room, but just one more different thing probably. If I get new toys, I'm probably going to put them in there, so it's probably going to see more toys. Well, that where do you think you're going to keep your toys? Under or still? I think that's a great idea. You did a good but job. But a bad thing, if my bed falls. Your bed's not going to well, fall. Well, if it did, all my toys are broken. Nah, it wouldn't break them. And those toys are... It wouldn't break them. <laughs> you know that big base down there? I That, that was exclusive. Was it? For only, for, I think, one year. And you haven't seen it since? The last time we got it... Uh, was at where's that place we went we bought we bought it at Big Lots, and then the next time we went to Big Lots, I didn't even see it. Mm. So if my bed falls, uh oh, that sucks. Uh uh. All right, well tell everybody bye. 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 So if uh, you have a child who has toys all over the floor, like mine used to do, um, show them Sam's brilliant idea. So maybe that way they could think it would be fun too. And uh, maybe it can help organize their room too. So um, as we keep moving, I'm going to keep uh, listening to Sam and Solomon and hearing the voice that they have to contribute to everything because you know this is a family not just me and uh it's nice to get the ideas from them too oh, does that say reach? Okay. all right so uh have a good one blessings bye